hello guys in this video i will be showing you guys how you can use the desmos graphing calculator to plot lines that is to plot points and link these points using a line to plot points and and link the points uh maybe to come out with a triangle to come out with whatsoever you want to come out with um i am going to be using my phone okay and you can apply this same methodology if you're using your computer so the desmos graphing calculator is a very important graphing tool which is very light it is just two megabytes and you can download it from play store um i know some people use jojebra yes it's very nice also but many people don't know about the desmos graphing calculator i use it too and i just got to realize that this desmos graphing calculator there were some features that i never imagined that could be I thought it is only on GeoGebra that I could find those features. So if you are a fan of GeoGebra, that's nice. If you don't know about the Desmos graphing calculator, then you can go to Play Store or Apple Store. You download, just type Desmos graphing calculator and then you download. It's two megabytes. Then you run and come back to continue the video. Okay, so um, if I want to, maybe I have a graph and I want to plot the point. Okay. What do I do? Okay, now I am in the Desmos graphing calculator already. All I do is that I'm going to, I'm going to, um, I'm going to write down those points. So let's take easy points. Maybe let's take one, one, as a point, um, comma. We go to the next point, two, two, comma. We go to the next point, three, three. Now you realize that we have just had three points. But now, having these three points, um, if you continue using this methodology, it might be stressful for you. So if you want to generate a table, you just go and click on the settings. Then when you click on the settings, you click on this table. Now you can now be fitting the points. So we have four, four, we have five, five, we have six, six, we have seven, seven, we have eight. Eight. We have nine, nine, and uh, I'm just trying to put many points so that the line should be visible. Ten, ten, and let us end at eleven, eleven. Let me add this over here. Voila. Now this, these, these are the points that 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 I needed to plot. See, I can zoom in, I can zoom out. Now I can also change the color of the points. Okay, I can change the color of the points. If I click on this, the points is appear. If I click back on, the points appear. Uh, if I click back on my settings, now click back on the settings, click on Y again. Now those are the points. The points could be in a, in this form as well as the points could be as well as the points could be in this form like 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 stars. Okay, so you need to choose choose um, what you want. Now you can also make the points not to be visible, and then or you make the points to be visible. But anyways, if you want to draw a line, you just go and click on line. Automatically, these are the points on the line. If you don't want the points to be visible, if you don't want the points to be visible, you can now um, remove the points and that is the perfect line. Okay. You can also make the line to be in, in, in you, can, you can make it to be in dashed lines or um, somehow like this. You can as well change the color. So I'm just going to make it to be like that. Okay. Um, I'm going to make the points to be visible. Points visible and then the line. Yes, I think it's perfect like that. So basically, here is it. You see. So we can take done and that is all. So this is my line. Now you can maybe screenshot. Okay. Um, you can also label the axis where you go to this button here. Uh, if you're in a polar plane, you could convert it to a polar plane directly but since i'm in the cartesian plane i'm in the cartesian plane now um i could label my axis label axis i don't know if you're plotting a graph of something against something maybe i can just put x and then maybe y as well in small letters um that is it so if you want the arrows of the axis you also need to put the arrows and you also need to choose just the vertical and horizontal arrow i think with that you see that is it and then automatically from here now you can even try to to screenshot it 
and insert in a document or you crop it and then you insert in a document is going to be okay you can as well remove the grids i think you can as well take no grid okay and then you just have something clean like this yes you just have something clean like this okay that is it for 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 plotting points and linking a point using a line okay so um now let us let us go uh, let me put back my bits okay let me put back my bits and now what about me maybe trying to trying to kind of what about me trying to to link maybe i want to draw i want to link the the the, the points not using a line maybe i want to draw points on a triangle okay now you just need to do the very thing you have to label the points maybe i have one two then no, no no let me try to to put a point in a different location let's say maybe we have negative two um negative one negative two negative one negative two negative one is the first point hey i forgot the comma negative two comma negative one we can even change the coloration already anyways later on we are going to see into that negative two negative one comma so then we need to put the next man maybe i can put negative three negative two you see or let me say negative five negative four and uh, finally let me put uh negative seven negative three okay now I am kind of no let me put something like uh I can say one negative three. Yeah, I think I think or uh, yeah, one negative three or maybe negative one three. No no no. Let's say one negative three. Okay, so I want to kind of link these three points together. So to link these three points together, you must end with the beginning point. So we end back. With a point negative two negative one okay now from there now i click on i click on my settings okay when i click on my settings uh i click on the table in fact if you wanted to see the points on the table you click on y you click on y in fact click on settings again um click on y then we now take let's try to change the color of the point we now take line automatically those points are linked by the line the dotted line or anything you need that is it if you don't want the points to show you can oh uh, let me put in dark if you don't want the points to show you can erase the points and then you just take your line okay automatically the points are being linked so let us indicate the point so you can also change you can make the points to be in the form of stars okay so that is it if you put drag it's going to kind of highlight the point again and uh, anyways so there we are there we are you can enlarge and then maybe you see i'm kind of because i put drag i put set a point here i could bring this other point here and so on and so forth okay just like that so basically that is how we do that is how we do i can go back go back to the original go back again till i get what i want go back go back again uh, go back again until i arrive at where i in fact immediately this is it now let me remove the drag so remove the drag click on this and i remove the drag so the points are clear so basically guys this is how we can use desmos and then we can even try to screenshot if we screenshot you are going to have a picture of it voila that is it so we can even share as well or we can even screenshot this guy also so guys as well as like i said we could remove the grid yes i think we could remove the grid and just have something pure like this if you want to start an exam it becomes very easy for you as a math teacher or even as a chemistry teacher okay so this application is very important and many people don't know the use of this application they just know maybe they use it to plot normal graphs maybe if you want to plot um if you want to plot lines um if you want to plot um maybe 
polar curves, conic sections, and all the rays. But you can also use it to plot other things. Okay, make sure you like this video. If the video is good, you comment in the comment section if you have learned something new. And also subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.